Catalog has come again. It's like a Halo-themed Christmas that never ends. A note before we begin, I'll be skipping over a couple posts from Catalog. One was a joke post, the other was... unimportant, basically. You can check out the links in the description if you want to see for yourself. Anyway, on to the lore goodies. Temporary link established. Theoretically, all of Blue Team has the rank of Spartan now, so command may be given back to John. Correction. Current from Antari, records indicate Explorators, designated Blue Team. Ref, Spartan 2. Ref, Halo Encyclopedia, page 112. Under NavSpec Warcom Adcon. Multiple bureaucratic vectors from Frumentari to acquire full command authority. A minor update on Blue Team, but one most welcome. It seems Blue Team did not join the Spartan 4 program, choosing instead to remain with the Navy under the Naval Special Warfare Command. However, it seems that Oni is not giving up on Blue Team, having made multiple requests to acquire the Spartans. System, administration, records translation, complete. Keep alive. Query. Status. 42% complete. Here we see the catalog is still going through Oni's files while continuing its query into the lockdown of the Adon terminal. I think. It could also be reflecting how far catalog has infiltrated Oni's network. It's not always clear. Query. Do you have access to the Oni databanks? Query. Answer. Cyber intrusion of Frumentari cores currently in progress. Multiple security constructs and spiders hindering clerical access intra vires. Impedance of legal access noted in report to life worker case officers. So we start out with a question about how far Catalog has infiltrated Oni's network. It mentions a number of security AI, as would be expected, but also these spiders. I cannot help but wonder if this is a reference to the System Peril Distributed Reflex, or SPDR, a program in UNSC AI that assists an AI in repair when it's too damaged to properly function on its own. The SPDR was introduced in the I Love Bees ARG and was called the Spider since, well, that's basically what it spells out. It may mean something else entirely, but for now I like to think it's a reference to I Love Bees. We also have this legal term intra vires, meaning within one's legal power, more or less. Basically, the security AIs and spiders are using all their power to hinder catalog. The answer ends with Catalog making note of this impotence in its report. It's interesting that these reports are being sent to life workers, not juridicals, but then we still don't know a whole lot about the Forerunner legal system. I think the bigger question here is whether or not someone is receiving these messages and what it might mean. What do you know of the AI construct designated Hydri that was found on the Shield World Requiem? Query answer. Records recovered from human destroyer INF-101 present at Warrior Servant Castra Requiem, currently stored in inaccessible cores. Archive signature does not match construct spoor in local cache. So, some quick backstory here. Hydra Eye was an AI encounter during the Oni Section 3 ARG. I don't know a whole lot about this ARG, but from what I can tell, Hydra was an AI that was meant to help Section 3 operatives, but eventually went rogue. Then some other stuff happened. What Catalog is saying here is that it cannot access, or does not have full access, to information on Hydra at this moment, but does note that the signature on the local cache does not resemble the one archived during Infinity's time on Requiem. During the ARG, Hydra was supposedly destroyed, but a later AI, called Aquia, is thought to be a remnant of Hydra. This could be what Catalog is referencing. The big takeaway is that the Section 3 ARG is officially canon, at least for the most part. Do you know what happened to the Sangheili called Henry, who was last seen on the Mona Lisa at the remnants of Installation 04? Query answer. No records found. Scope increased. Two records found. Operation Red Cloud. Operation White Sand. Corrupted compartmentalization links noted. No such file errors noted. Scope increased. Multiple record discrepancies. RE UNSC Red Horse. Multiple record discrepancies. RE AI Rebecca. 23 alerts triggered in through Mentari tertiary course upon query. Suppressing spider response. No Mactocognatus recorded in through Mentari ship roster within space time prism of requested action. Recorded. Fission fusion. Weapon strike responsible for total structural failure of parasite infested transport. Unexpected end of file error noted. Now this is certainly a fun one. If you haven't watched the motion comic Mona Lisa or read the Halo Evolution story it was based on, go watch slash read that before we continue. Go on, I'll wait. Well, I won't really, but you can pause the video and go watch it. Okay, did you watch it? No? 
Yeah, well, spoilers. So we can see that Oni has buried the records regarding the incident with the Mona Lisa and the experiments with the flood that took place on the prison ship. It mentions two operations, White Sand and Red Cloud. White Sand is likely the operation concerning the flood experiments, the name a possible reference to the White Sands of New Mexico. Red Cloud, in turn, likely refers to the UNSC Red Horse, a UNSC prowler sent to investigate what happened on Mona Lisa. The red in Red Cloud is the one reason I think this operation refers to Red Horse. That and Clouds cover stuff up, because the Red Horse was sent in to cover up the incident with the Mona Lisa. It's flimsy, I know. We also see that there are multiple discrepancies regarding the incident in question, notably from the AI Rebecca. This makes sense, giving her secretive nature during the events of Mona Lisa. It also notes that no Sangheili were recorded as being aboard the Mona Lisa during the flood outbreak. Again, this makes sense, since the experiments were secret in nature, so Oni wouldn't officially record having Sangheili prisoners. And the report ends with noting that the Mona Lisa was destroyed by a nuke, as seen in the story. What happened afterwards, though? That remains a mystery. Are the whereabouts of Grey Team known? Query answer. Human Naval and Frumentari records list explorators. Jai 006, Adriana 111, and Mike 120 as inaccessible since 2551. Mission records infer travel to Covenant facility within interdicted old human sphere. Navigational update information not available at this time. Another fun one since we get a small update about the fate of Grey Team. We know they haven't been heard from since 2551, but we never really knew what they were up to. It seems that they were infiltrating a Covenant facility of sorts behind enemy lines. Perhaps this was Grey Team's final mission or perhaps they are stranded. Who knows? For now. Query. What is the status of Installation 00? Alert! Waypoint. Information restricted on authority of Librarian. Oh? We're not allowed to know about Installation 00? Could this mean that the Ark is indeed a major location in future media? Maybe. Maybe not. Why are you here interacting with us? Why now? What is your location? Query answer. Quiescent for air regress. Cycles following critical failure of domain interlink. Librarian control authorization denied pending juridical review of new console activities. November 7th, 2552. Quiescence ends. Revoked ecumen control authorization requested. July 22nd, 2557. Investigative protocols activated. Control devolution of builder and life worker operations in Erda Tyrene sphere requires limited investigation and informational interaction. Warning! Time since last. Search and assess. 20,349,480 plus minus 64 hours. Warning! Time since last. Successful synchronization. 876,621,297 plus minus 512 hours. Ah, we finally get a look at why Catalog is talking with us now. From this, it seems that Catalog was awoken from a period of inactivity caused by the collapse of the domain on November 7th, 2552. So what exactly happened on November 7th? Nothing too significant, but it was during the Battle of Earth, the Great Schism, and not long after the Halo Array went on standby. Then, on July 22nd, 2557, the day the Didact awoke from his slumber, Catalog denied a request for ecumen control. Was this the Didact trying to take control of all that was left of the Ecumen? Hard to say, and I really may be interpreting this wrong. Either way, this provoked an investigation into the happenings on Earth. With the mentioning of Builder and Lifeworker operations, this could be a reference to the portal on Earth, or perhaps the ultimate plan for humanity to take up the mantle. We end with Catalog distressing over the collapse of the Domain and something else. It mentions that the last successful Surge and Assess was... 20,349,480 plus or minus 64 hours, or 2,321 years and 168 days, plus or minus about 3 days. I'm not exactly sure what catalog's referring to here, but my first guess would be the juridical network. What kind of queries, requests, or commands are allocated a high priority? Query answer. Internal documentation of juridical activities is not subject to external review. Basically, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Also, what is the status of Spartan Team Black post-Human Covenant War? Query answer. Human Naval and Frumentari Records List Explorators. Otto, 031. Margaret, 053. Victor, 101. And Roma, 143. As currently assigned to human eyes at Gamma Site. Now this is certainly one of my favorites, and also something of a disappointing one. 
As you may recall, I theorized a while back that Naomi 010 from the Kilo 5 books may have been Black 2 from Spartan Black Team, as it would help explain her sudden appearance in the canon. However, it seems I was wrong. Naomi is not a member of Black Team, and all of Black Team made it back from the line installation as seen in Halo Bloodline. Stranger still is that they are now at Ivanov Station, and this brings up many questions, notably, when were they assigned there? Was it after the Didax attack, or before? If before, where were they when this station was under attack? And most importantly, how the hell did they get off the line installation? And of course, which Spartan is which? We know that Victor 101 is Black 4, and we can deduce that Auto 031 is Black 3 since there's only one other male on the team. But what about the other two? Thankfully, Catalog cleared that up in a later post. Alert! Low priority query. Query answer. Records show non-standard explorators. Internal team identification was as follows. 1. Margaret, 053. 2. Roma, 143. 3. Otto, 031. 4. Victor, 101. And to end our first major post from Catalog. System log record. Query status 43% complete. I'm still thinking this is a reference to Catalog's query into the lockdown of the Atom Terminal, but who knows at this point. A member on Halo Waypoint, CIA391, calculated that Catalog's query should be done on July 6th, so we shouldn't have to wait too long to find out. And not long after, more answers popped up. Keep alive. Query. Does the state of Washington still exist as an entity in the United Republic of North America? And if so, is there finally a Starbucks location on every street corner? Query. Answer. Administrative subunit Washington, not found in UEG provinces. Seattle Metroplex, region noted as possessing high per capita stimulant dispersaries in human sphere of influence. Records of area surrounding 434 Combat Readiness Lab indicate one stimulant and congealed sugar dispensary per inhabitant. UEG administrative agencies alerted to anomalous distribution of these facilities. So, this one is mostly a joke, but I think we can assume that, in the 26th century, Seattle is a megacity like Chicago or New Phoenix. However, I doubt the idea of there being one coffee shop per citizen is to be taken seriously, much like the description of the Photos armor. Temporary link established. I was curious about this for a while, but does anyone know which are the six Spartans, besides Jerome 092, Alice 130, and Douglas 042, who make up Spartan Red Team Omega in Halo Wars? Does it ever tell us? I know that they have to have names, I just don't know if we know them or not. Thanks in advance. Query answer. Naval and frumentary records identify six exploratories in Omega Team, three exploratories in Red Team. Personally identifying information is currently not accessible due to pending inquiry into events at Conservation Sphere 0459. This one addresses the Spartans of Halo Wars. It's always been assumed that Spartan Group Omega, now Omega Team, was a splinter of Red Team much like how Red Team broke into four smaller teams during the Battle of Reach, but apparently this is not the case. It's strange, since Spartan teams are usually identified by color-based call signs, blue, red, green, black, etc. Omega is, well, different. Also worthy of note is Catalog seems to be looking into the events of Halo Wars. Many queries have been submitted so far, and it seems we may finally get some big answers about one of the most underrated Halo games and RTSs, in my opinion. Well, that's all for now, folks. Stay tuned for more Catalog updates, and be sure to keep an eye on this channel over the weekend. I'll be covering all Halo news coming out of RTX. This has been Halo Cannon. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.